Hey guys, when I was younger, I think it was around elementary school and kindergarten, my environment wanted me to be Christian, but I simply had no interest in it and my family wasn't actively pushing me into any direction. I was free to choose what I wanted to believe in or what I wanted to not believe in, but I felt a certain pressure coming from my environment. Most of my friends were part of a church group and the final year that I lived in this little village in Austria I ended up attending a meeting, but it simply wasn't for me. I absolutely wasn't feeling it and I had difficulty pretending to be interested. When I was younger and it was time to either work or go to university, my decision to study was met with a lot of resentment. And please bear in mind, studying in Austria is either free or very, very inexpensive. And I chose a very, very inexpensive option. I got a job to pay my tuition, but it was literally um, not even 400 euros. So approximately $400, not even and I really, really enjoyed it. My environment expected me not to study and to simply get a job. In 2011, I read The Success Principles by Jack Canfield and I fell in love with the book. And for the first time ever, I decided to get really, really clear on my goals and what I wanted from life. I then shared my plans with anyone who was willing to listen. And again, from certain people there was a lot of resentment and I also get asked the following question. Why would you want to live anywhere else? My theory is that a lot of those people throughout my life were simply uncomfortable with me not meeting their expectations, me not living up to what they thought was best for me, me not living the life that they envisioned me to live. Early on, when my environment expected me to be Christian or religious, really, I came to realize that life is simply too short to try to live up to other people's expectations. Because at the end of the day, there are other people's and not yours to aspire to. And today I simply want to share with you what has helped me. What has helped me way back in the day when I was a little kid, what has helped me when I was about to go to university and what is helping me to this day. First of all, you have to realize that no one knows you better than yourself. When I was about to go to university, certain people in my environment expected me to become a graphic designer because I went to a graphic design high school. But I simply didn't felt like this was my calling and figured I'm gonna go to university to study communications because I wanted to deepen my knowledge of that subject. I'm sure you have your dreams and desires and a certain image in your head of how you want to live your life. Only you can know what's best for you and what it is that you truly, truly want. And while other people, of course, know you well, only you can really know what it is that you want. And if someone throws those expectations at you, I would simply take a really close look of what it is that you want to be doing. And while it can be sometimes difficult, I'm all about doing whatever it is that I want to do. And I'll also happily seek confrontation if need be. But try to simply do you and let other people's expectations simply fade into the background. Only you can define what's possible. Growing up, I was surrounded by certain toxic individuals. They may no longer be that way, but back in the day, that's definitely how it was. And it's those tiny little comments about your hair, about your appearance, about things that you want to be doing, about your dreams, about your desires, that slowly but surely can really kill your spirit. If you cannot remove yourself from those individuals or that particular situation, simply try to shut it all out and listen to what it is that you want to be doing and simply go ahead and do it. 
no matter what kind of expectations or how much resentment is thrown at you. I truly believe that whatever it is that you want to be doing is within reach and can be achieved if you only work hard enough. And if you cannot reach it, then there is a better option, a different option, a different path that you can pursue. Do what makes you happy and live at your own terms. When I was really young, as I said earlier, and my surroundings expected me to be religious, I realized that other people don't really know what's best for me. They don't really know what I want to be doing despite them knowing me quite well. And that it's simply best to do your own thing at all times, no matter in which situation you find yourself in. Of course, if you're financially dependent on someone, it can be more difficult, but there's still ways to do whatever it is that you want to do. As early as you can, if you're not already doing it, simply screw other people's expectations. It can be difficult, and I can really only speak from my personal experience. Start making progress on what's really important to you and live life according to your values. Because the values of people that you're surrounding yourself with may be completely different. And that's, of course, totally fine. Just remember that no matter what you're doing, only you truly know deep down what's best for you. And if someone tells you that they expect you to be this way, to look this way, to do this, to pursue that, to act a certain way, simply see it for what it is. Those are their expectations. Try not to let it get to you and move on with whatever it is that you want to be doing. I would love to hear your personal story about expectations that you had to deal with. Of course, there are always society's expectations, there are your family's expectations, there are your friends' expectations. We can be bombarded with lots of different expectations of how our life is supposed to look like, of how we are supposed to live. And sometimes it can be just really difficult and confusing to see through the fog and to see those expectations for what they are and to truly know what it is that you want to be doing. Have a lovely day and see you guys next time.